there, friendly neighbors. And I would just like to say, from the bottom of my heart, something you've probably never heard from another YouTuber, much less me. Welcome back to my channel. You guys have very likely seen the title of this video, as you did click on it. Today, I am going to be making my ferrets a ramp for their cage. So Kenya, this is this is you, we're doing a role play situation. Kenya, why are you making a, a ramp to your cage? Surely the step that you have works flawlessly and you're having a perfectly fine time. And then this is, this is me replying to you, I'll say. Well, the thing is actually, um, Nova seems like she's been struggling to get into her cage lately. She's getting old, her hips, don't lie like they used to. In fact, I would argue they're no longer lying at all. They're probably just telling the truth. And the truth that they're telling is that they don't work very good anymore. So to help my, my little old lady out, I'm going to, instead of having the stepping stool step that my ferrets currently have to get into their cage, I'm just gonna be making a ramp. I ain't getting fancy with this. I ain't getting extravagant. We're just trying to go for functionality here. Something that's gonna be easy for her to get up and is not gonna cost me a lot of money. Cause like I've said on my channel before, I don't have a lot of money. I'm not one of those people. We live in a budget world. And in budget world, functionality is above aesthetic. So I have a double ferret nation cage. I am aware that you can buy a ramp extender for your cage. I've seen people have them. They look great. I think that they're awesome if you want to just buy one instead of making one. I respect that. I understand. My problem is that I... I'm too lazy to wait for the shipping and I want the ramp now. So I'm just gonna make one myself. So I'm gonna basically buy a piece of wood. I know. Crazy. And then I'm going to be drilling some L brackets into it that I can then hook onto the cage. And then I'm going to be gluing or stapling, I don't know, we'll figure it out, some cardboard onto that piece of wood so that they can have a little bit of grip when they are walking up. It's very simple, my plan. It's not, it's not complicated, okay? Some videos I make, I do deserve the Genius of the Year award. I don't feel like for this video I deserve it, although, if someone wanted to nominate me, I would not be upset. You know, I wouldn't be mad. Feel free to nominate me. I'll take the nomination. So the first thing that I'm gonna need to do for today is to go buy the supplies I need in order to make this. Before I leave, I will show you a ferret. Hey, Luna, do you wanna come be a part of something magical? No. Come here, I'll give you a treat. Treat? I do have a ferret. Where is my treat? Oh, what? I want my treat, you cold-hearted demon. Do you wanna be part of my video? No. Would you like to experience things with me? There's nothing on this table. I cleared it off because I knew someone was gonna end up on it. Ho ho ho! Finally. This is the good stuff. Good stuff. Oh yeah! Oh yeah. All right. Give, 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 give. I'm at the bottom of the bag, so it's all like powder now, but you know what, they still like it. Yes, yum, yes, yummy, yum, yum in my tummy, tum, tum. This is how you make your ferrets love you. I have to go to the hardware store. More? You don't get any more. That's all you get. But what if I did get more? That's all you get. No, that's all you get. I'm sorry, life is not fair. This family is a prison. Okay, I'm gonna go to the store and then I will be back with the supplies I need for this video. And you're gonna go in your cage because when mom leaves the house, we ain't having no chaos, okay? No chaos. As promised, I finally went to the store. It's important for me that you know that this was my first outing where I could wear my spring jacket and I was extremely excited about this. Winter lasted too long, like it does every year. So I put the ferrets away, Nova and Lyra were snuggling and it was adorable, and then I headed out. Halfway down the hall, I remembered that I hadn't measured my cage, so I turned around and went back to do that. When I finally got outside, I saw that it had snowed last night and I was upset. I got to the hardware store and I walked around the woods section looking as confused as I possibly could in order to attract an employee that would ask if I needed help because I'm too shy to ask for help myself. Then I went to my favorite place in the entire world, the dollar store. Where I walked around confidently without the need of an employee because the dollar store is my safe haven and I know where everything is. Once I gathered my supplies, I returned home triumphant. to put some more lipstick on. So y'all better tell me if I end up with lipstick in my teeth. I'm blaming you if it happens and I don't get told. Hello. Welcome home. Good morning. I missed you, mom. I've returned from the store and I was successful. I got everything I was looking for. So as far as the wood goes, that's gonna be the base of this. I got this piece of wood. Now my plan is I'm gonna stick them together. 
Don't worry about how I'm doing that. We'll get to that point later. And then I went and at the dollar store, these are the carpets that I found. I was looking for like a different color, but they didn't have too much selection. So I did what I could and I just got these. I bought two because I wasn't sure how much I was gonna need and I didn't want to have to go back. I also got a, a new bed for the Ferris because the one they have in their cage is kind of sad. So that's beside the point. Um, while we're on the train of things I didn't need to buy, but I did buy, I got myself um, some Skittles and uh, some, some nibs. So I'm just gonna go ahead and crack into those. Mm. It's not a trip to the dollar store if you don't come home with nibs, in my personal and professional opinion. I got some glue. I also got some sandpaper. I know I'm covering the pieces of wood with carpet, but I kept getting slivers when I was touching it and it made me angry. So I would like to just sand those out so that I know they're gone and they aren't gonna hurt me anymore. I also got some cutting boards, which is, isn't relevant to this video, but I need some cutting boards for my avocados in the morning. That'll go in the pile of things that aren't related to this. From the hardware store, I got some light bulbs because a bunch of my light bulbs are burnt out. Once again, not relevant to this video, but I just like to share my life experiences with people. And then I also got little um, L brackets, which is how I'm going to be attaching this to the cage. Y'all be judging me right now, but you just wait until I get this together and then you'll be like, oh, she's a thinker. I got some nails because we're gonna need those and I don't have any. No, can you? This is, once again, this is you asking me a question. How are you planning to put these two pieces of wood together? Surely you aren't planning to super glue them. No, you fool. This is me talking to you now. You fool. I am not, I'm not crazy, okay? I'm not gonna just super glue them together and expect them to work. I'm gonna super glue them and then I'm gonna duct tape them together. Obviously. I know, okay? There are better ways to do it. I could have gotten wood glue. I could have gotten like little, I don't know, brackets. Is that what they're called? But I didn't want to. I didn't want to, I own glue and uh, my own duct tape. So why would I spend more money on things that I don't need to spend money on? The reality of the situation is my ferrets weigh less than two pounds and I literally just need this to be able to hold that amount of weight. So duct tape and super glue are gonna work fine, okay? They're gonna work fine. Before we get started on that though, I do need to sand these. This side, this is nice and smooth, but the other side is Satan's ass. smooth. Okay, that has to be good. We have to be there. Oh, that feels good. There is dust everywhere. I'm, a I'm angry about this. And I still have to do one more piece. I need a nibs break. I dropped a nib. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. We've sanded our wood. It's a little bit happier now. And now comes the point where I need to attach these two pieces of wood to each other, which once again, I'm just gonna duct tape them. I don't fear God, you know? I'm gonna be getting so much hate in the comments for this. And honestly, well deserved. Go ahead, say what you want. You're allowed to at this point. For this video, I'll give you permission. Oh my God, I should do this professionally. Look at this, this is solid. Look at this, it doesn't even bend. It doesn't even bend. Look, I'm trying to bend it. It's not working. Wood glue who? Don't know her. I'm over here with my best bitch duct tape. So to anyone who thought this wouldn't work, I might be eating nibs, but you're gonna be eating words, okay? Okay. So now I have my little L brackets or corner braces or... It, you know what? I was gonna try and do the French pronunciation, but I just don't feel like being put on blast for more reasons, so I'm gonna just not. I'm gonna install these bad boys. Am I gonna measure where I'm putting them? No. Am I gonna just wing it? Yeah. Um, I also don't have a drill, which I know I'm gonna need, but since I don't have one, I'm gonna use just a screwdriver. Don't know if it's gonna work. It might require a lot of muscle power, but this wood is pretty soft, so I think it's gonna be okay. Let me go grab my screwdriver.
That's about as solid as it's gonna get when you're doing it by hand. And um, I'm proud of me, so I get to take a mini break. Well, this one's working a lot, a lot better. I'd like to just first off say. The other one was my warm up screw. Here's what we've got so far, guys. We have two pieces of wood duct taped together. And we have two brackets screwed by hand into the top of them. I'm a genius. I know, I know. Now the part that we need to do, we need to get this carpet secured onto this piece of wood. How are you planning to do that, Kenya? Well, audience member of my YouTube channel, I'm gonna super glue it. I'm gonna super glue it. And I also have nails. I'm gonna use nails and super glue. And that's gonna be life. And that's gonna be how it is. Oh my God, it fits perfectly. I just need to wrap it around. I'm gonna try a little bit to center this. I'm not gonna try that hard, just a little bit. If it looks even, then to me that legally means it's even. So I'm gonna start off by hammering the one end in. And I use the term hammering lightly because along with not owning a drill, I don't own a hammer. And I, I would honestly say that I don't think I'm ever gonna be at the point in my life where I own a hammer. If I am at that point in my life, I'm proud of myself. But for now, I'm happy living a hammerless life. So instead of a hammer, I have this 10 pound weight, which I use whenever I need a hammer. This is how I put together my double ferret nation cage, believe it or not. And if you wanna judge me, yeah, you're allowed, honestly. Yeah, you're allowed. This video, this video is about the judging. You're allowed to judge me this video. I bent the nail pretty bad. It's stuck. Now I'm gonna come in with that that glue that we talked about. I'm gonna mess this up with glue. Wrap her around, nail her again. That's what she said. And then I might put some more nails on the bottom and on the top just to make sure it's secure because I don't want them slipping under it because ferrets just love to do that. So where'd my glue go? she's good. It's important to me that you guys know that when I was at the hardware store, there was a guy who asked me if I needed any help. You know, when I was buying the wood, the guy was like, oh, what are you using it for? Why are you cutting it in half? And I was like explaining to him what I'm doing. And he's like, oh, how are you sticking the two pieces together? And I was like, I didn't want to tell him I was just going to duct tape them because I just don't need that kind of judgment in my life. So I told him I had these like brackets at home that I was going to drill under it. It was just a lie. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for lying. I just didn't want to be judged because uh, I didn't want to spend $3 on brackets. I think we're there. I think we're good. The second side I did, once again, looks a lot better than the first side. But let's see, hey look! Look at that! Hey! That's pretty good. I'm gonna go do some more nails on these two parts because I have a feeling Lyra's gonna try and get under this. And these are the ones that are gonna be on the front, so I'm gonna try really hard to not make them look bad. I'll try my best. Well, I already failed that dream. it again. <laughs> I'm so close to being done. <laughs> I don't want a hammer. I have my moral support ferret with me. Please let me go. No, don't leave me. Master. No, Papa. No, Papa. Please. I need you right now, okay? I'm just going through a really hard time. I'm sorry, but I have things to do. Really, really hard time. Please don't leave me. Goodbye. <laughs> I have nothing. I'm so close to being done. I know, I know I'm tired. I know my arms hurt. I know I can't nail a nail in straight. But I think if I just believe in myself, I just have to believe in myself. And then maybe, with the power of idiotic, irrational, blind trust, maybe I'll be able to do it. Yeah.
maybe I'll be able to do it. You just gotta believe in yourself. I'm gonna believe in myself. It went in crooked again. So believing in myself didn't really work. Guys, I think we've done it. Hey, this, this looks pretty quality. I'm just saying, I, I could have bought something for them and, and then I wouldn't have this. It might to you just look like two pieces of wood duct taped together with a dollar store rug super glued onto it. But to me, it's a symbol. It's a symbol that with enough faith in yourself, you can, you can do anything. You can move mountains. You can duct tape two pieces of wood together. You can hammer something in with a 10 pound weight instead of a hammer, because you're too stubborn to buy a hammer. You can do it. Just believe. I'm gonna go test this out and actually put it on my cage now. So come on guys, come on, let's go. Let's go guys. So as I had previously mentioned, my current setup for my ferrets to get into their cage is via this kitchen stool that I actually very desperately need. I am very, very short and I cannot reach things in my kitchen. And this used to be in the kitchen, but then we got this cage and the ferrets needed it more. So I'm really excited to get this stool back um, so that I can finally reach my food processor on the double ferret nation cage. There's this metal bar right here and there's like a gap. Now, I don't know if I just didn't put this cage together correctly or if this is just how it works, but this metal bar like rotates and I'm gonna use that to my advantage because then I can turn it to a 45 degree angle and then hook these bad boys onto it, which is exactly what I'm gonna do. Did I just make that? That looks great. And hey, guess what? my cage can still close, which is really exciting for me. I didn't even realize that this carpet and the metal matched each other. That was completely by accident and absolutely not on purpose. Just saying, I'm pretty great at what I do. Let's do the important part though and see what my ferrets think of it. I don't think they're gonna be upset. I just think they're gonna be like, okay, cool. Now this is how I get into my cage. Let me see if I can find a ferret or see if there are any in here. Can you check something out for me? Can you see what you can think of? What is this? Is this a trick? Do I go down? Oh geez, oh heck. She kind of slid down it because she was stretching. Treat, treat, treat. Yummy yum. Treat, treat, treat. Yes, I am amazing. What is this? This gives treats. Move then. Where are your treats, godless heathen of the underworld? Reveal them to me or you will suffer my everlasting and eternal wrath. Wait. Thank you, mother. This is easier. Well, I'm pretty happy with that. I think it looks great. I am still a little surprised that it's the exact same color as my cage. Did not plan that. Didn't notice it until just now. Um, I think it looks classy. It looks a lot classier than a Rubbermaid stool. So, you know, I'm happy. Well, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe because by doing all those things, you too can become a citizen of the friendly neighborhood, which in my personal professional opinion is the best place that you can possibly be. Don't forget to check out my Etsy page. Today is your very last day to be able to get the Under the Sea business boxes. And tomorrow, March 1st, the new business boxes for next month will be up. And I'm not gonna reveal what the theme is. You guys are gonna have to just wait and see. It'll be all over Instagram and TikTok and YouTube once it's up. So hopefully you won't miss it. Who wants to be in the outro? Nova.
She can't hear me. Why do I always call her name? She cannot physically hear me. She does not have the capacity to do that. She literally cannot physically do it. Do you like it? Do you like your new ramp? Is that better for your old lady joints? Oh. She gave me kisses. She said thank you. You guys have a great rest of your day. I'll see you next week. Bye.